Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve very interesting and very important SQL interview question that was asked by Indium Software. So the question is on finding the possible cricket match combinations. So let's understand the question over here. So the problem statement over here is that you are given a table named teams with a single column team name that contains the following rows. So here is your input table. And these are the rows that you have been given CSK, KKR, GT, DC and LSD. Okay. So these are the cricket teams. Now you have to write a SQL query to generate all the possible unique match combinations between the teams in the format team one versus team two. So basically you have to generate all the possible unique match combinations between the teams that should be in the format team one versus team two. So basically your output should be like CSK versus KKR, CSK versus GT, CSK versus DC, like that. Okay. But there are some constraints that you have to keep in mind. So the first constraint over here is that each pair should appear only once. For example, CSK versus KKR is valid, but KKR versus CSK should not appear again because it will be counted as duplicate. And since we have to find only the unique match combinations, then definitely that will be counted as a duplicate and the second constraint over here is that a team should not be matched with itself for example csk versus csk is invalid so basically we have to generate possible unique match combinations and definitely a team cannot play against itself so that so therefore csk versus csk like these combinations would be invalid so i hope the question is clear now you have been given five cricket teams over here and you have to you have to generate the possible unique matches in the form in the format team one versus team two so that would be your expected output so let's now move on to understand how to solve this problem what would be your problem solving approach so guys you can even pause the video here you can think through the solution what could be the ideal approach to solve this problem and then here we are going to understand how to approach the problem so the first step would be to understand the problem so basically it is very important for you to understand the problem first since you have been given a list of team names in a table and you need to generate all the possible unique matchups between two two different teams the output should be in the format team one versus team two and definitely uh, duplicate or reverse matches uh, should should be avoided a team should not play against itself so these are the conditions that you have been given and this is your requirement now the second step would would be for you to find out the expected output so basically we are only given the input table over here we are not given the output table so here in this case you have to present your output table so here you have to make use of the permutations and combinations and what could be the possible combinations that we can have from these cricket teams so using that you have to find the expected output now your third step would be to perform the self join to create all the pairings so basically here we are given some single one table and to definitely create the pairings we will be making use of the self join concept to join the teams table with itself that will help you create all the all the possible pairings and later on you have to simply apply a condition your fourth step would be to simply filter out duplicates and self matches so that would be your your uh, fourth step to filter out after creating all the pairings your this step would be to filter out the duplicates and the self matches because that is something needs to be avoided okay and at last you just need to format your output making sure that you are writing your output in the format that that has been given team one versus team two so that so to do that you can uh, definitely make use of the concat function in mysql to format the match string so that's how you are going to approach this problem so these are the steps we are going to follow while solving this problem okay so before moving on to solving the problem let's let's first find out the expected output before proceeding with the solution so what we are looking for here is we are looking for all the unique matchups between five teams that we have been given where order does not matter and a team does not play against itself and since it is very clear that it is a classic case of combinations and not the permutations so the formula for combination is like if we have to select 
r possible items from total n number of items the formula for the combination is ncr which is given by n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial where n is the total number of items and r is the number of items chosen okay so the so the possible combinations of choosing r items from n items is given by ncr and the ncr is definitely de denoted by this formula so guys in this case we have to choose two items from a group of five items so here when choosing two items from a group of n without repetition and without order the number of combinations is going to be we can simply substitute r is equals to 2 in the formula where n is equals to 5 so after substituting so after substituting n is equals to 5 and r is equals to 2 into the formula we are going to get 10 10 possible unique pairings okay so so let's now calculate uh, what would be these 10 unique pairings so since we are going to perform self join let's just match each record of the left table to the each record of the right table so let's just take the case of the csk so csk versus csk that is going to be invalid next csk versus kkr then csk then csk versus kkr csk versus gt then come csk versus gt csk versus dc csk versus lsd so there could be four possible combinations that come from csk now let's talk about kkr so kkr versus csk will be invalid because we have already taken csk versus kkr then kkr versus kkr again invalid now kkr versus gt kkr versus dc and kkr versus lsd so there will be three possible combinations from kkr now let's let's take for gt so for gt again gt versus csk will be invalid because we have already taken csk versus gt before now gt versus kkr again invalid because we have taken kkr versus gt before now gt versus gt again invalid so so there will be only two possible co uh, combinations from gt that is gt versus dc and gt versus lsg now let's take for dc so again dc versus csk would be invalid because we have already considered csk versus dc then dc versus kkr will again be invalid because we have already taken kkr versus dc now dc versus gt again will be invalid because we have already considered gt versus dc now dc so there would be only one possible combination that is dc versus lsg and if we talk about lsg all the possible combinations would be invalid because we have already considered uh, CSK versus LSG, then KKR versus LSG, then GT versus LSG, then DC versus LSG, and LSG versus LSG will be invalid. So there will be 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, that is in total 10 combinations would come out. 10 unique combinations would be there. So your final expected output would be this. So I hope you understood how we calculated the expected output. Now there is one thing I would like you to note that is if in case if order did not matter for example if we, we were allowed to count CSK versus KKR and KKR versus CSK both in that case we would not have used combinations instead we would have used permutations. So I hope you are clear with the question now let's now move on to write the SQL query in my SQL workbench. So guys, this is the interface of my SQL workbench. And as you can see, I've already imported my input table. That is my team's table. And these are the records that I had. Now, since I want to generate all the unique possible combina match combinations. So to do that, I am going to follow the steps that I just discussed. And first of all, I'll be actually doing, I'll be doing self-join on both. So I'm just writing my query. Select from this is my teams and I'm giving one table as T1. Then it will be join. Then teams T2. Now since uh, there are two conditions that we have. One is that we have to avoid the self matches. And second one is that we, we cannot include uh, two, two same combinations. For example, if csk versus kkr exists then we cannot include kkr versus csk and we cannot uh, include the self matches like csk versus csk cannot come kkr versus kkr cannot come like that okay so to do that basically we are actually going to make use of a condition on which i will be making this self join 
so the condition would be here is i will be doing it on t1 dot team name should be less than t2 dot team now why i have used this condition is it is it will definitely uh, it will definitely meet my both the criteria that is it will first avoid the self matches uh, it will it will definitely uh, not include csk versus csk in my output because because both the names are not the same okay definitely they are different that's why it is not going to include self matches secondly it will only keep one direction because the less than operator over here compares the strings alphabetically so if csk less than kkr is true then definitely kkr versus uh, less kkr less than csk would be false okay so only one of the two reverse pairs will pass this filter and now we 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 have we just have to format our output in in team 1 versus team 2 format so for that i am just making use of the concat function over here so concat here i am just going to write my t1 dot team name team name comma versus and then t2 dot team name so this is going to this query is going to give me the my final answer that is one second guys okay okay so as you can see over here so i will just give as matches okay so these are my possible combinations that i have got here so this is my output as you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are my this is my expected output that i have got the 10 possible combinations and if i do order by matches then it will give me my complete output it has ordered it by uh, by matches so that's how you can proceed with such type of questions So that's all I wanted to share in this video with you guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share your comments and subscribe to my channel for more such SQL questions and tutorial. Also there is one update I wanted to share with you guys that I have recently started a SQL series where I'm teaching SQL from scratch. So if you want to learn SQL from scratch, you can definitely check out that series. I will add the little uh, add the link of that series in my description box and you can go through that. So thank you everyone see you soon bye bye